This conference will now be recorded. Hi, everybody. This is Shinja, Melissa, and David with Trailblaze, the Trailblaze Make-A-Wish team. Can you all hear me okay? Yes. Perfect. And then anyone on their computer, can you all see the screen all right? Yes. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Um, I'm going to go over a few housekeeping tips real quick, but we're going to give it about three more minutes to allow any stragglers to join us because we're right at 12 o'clock. This conference will now be recorded. All right, we're going to go ahead and start. Just a few quick housekeeping things. If I could ask everybody to mute their lines, that would be lovely. I don't want to mute you on this side because we want you to be able to ask questions. Perfect. There's also a little chat window in there if you want to throw questions in there, or you can go ahead and just unmute yourself and ask questions. This is meant to be as interactive as you would like, and we're open to any and all questions. We're, my name is Shinja Kamen. I work for Make-A-Wish Orange County in the Inland Empire. Uh, Carolyn Holmes also is sitting in here. She's your amazing events manager. We have, Good morning. <laughs> we have David as well, who is our fantastic lead coach. And then we have Melissa Gallagher, who also works for Make-A-Wish, who will be doing the webinar this afternoon. Melissa? Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, as Shinja mentioned, uh, my name is Melissa Gallagher. I'm the Vice President of Mission Delivery here at Make-A-Wish. So I am very passionate about two things. One is Trailblaze Challenge, because I did it last year um, as um, more of an observer and just being um, part of the group hikes and saw what an amazing event it is. And I'm very passionate about our mission. So I'll be able to, to hike alongside all of you um, to tell Just you a little a bit more about some of our, uh, a little bit more about our Wish Kids and our mission. So I'm very excited to get started with our um, webinar. So to begin with, uh, there are a few different reasons why why people take on the Trailblaze Challenge. One is uh, to get in shape. Uh, two is to hike new trails, uh, to see new places. Um, also to meet new people with similar interests and to challenge yourself physically and mentally. Um, and lastly, uh, the most important part for us here especially is to make a difference. Uh, we, we are really excited to have you all uh, on board and learn more about Make-A-Wish and what your um, what you're raising funds for. So our mission here at Make-A-Wish is, together we create life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses. It all began with a young boy named Chris Gracious in 1980. Uh, he was years old, he lived in Phoenix, Arizona, and he was battling leukemia. More than anything, he wanted to be a police officer. So a group of individuals yeah. got together yeah. and decided to uh, to figure out a way to make that happen for Chris. So they got him, they created an amazing experience for him. A uniform, a badge, a holster. He got to go to the station and be part of uh, a day as a police officer. So it really created something very special and made a life lifelong um, memory for his family and community. So that is how Make-A-Wish began. Uh, and little did they know what what would what would transform from that one wish. So it's exciting. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about our organization as a national organization. We grant a wish every 34 minutes. Um, in um, we've granted over 315,000 wishes. Last year alone, we were able to grant 15,600 wishes. We have 60 chapters across the United States, 50 countries. Five continents. Um, I think somebody, if you wouldn't mind if we can make sure everybody mutes their phone because we're getting some feedback. Uh, thank you. 
Uh, what's really, we couldn't do what we do without our amazing volunteers. We have over 40,000 volunteers in the United States alone. Um, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about our local chapter. Uh, so we cover three counties. We cover Orange County, Riverside County, and San Bernardino counties. Uh, we have granted over 7,000 wishes since our since we started here in 1983. Last year alone, we granted 360 wishes. That is the most wishes our chapter has ever granted. We were the seventh. We are the seventh chapter that was established. Um, fun fact: We are our chapter code is 007. I think that's kind of a fun fact if you're a James Bond. Uh, fan. Um, our territory is really large. As you can see on the picture on the slide here, um, Orange County is a small piece of it, but we go all the way out from Orange County, all the way out to the Arizona border, up to the high desert, like Barstow area, and down to the um, down to Temecula. So we have 20,000 square miles in our territory. We currently have over 700 volunteers, which we need and and um, really couldn't do what we do without them, so we're really proud of our volunteers. So now what you really want to know is about the Trailblaze Challenge. Uh, it all started in our Eastern North Carolina chapter. Uh, our, our Trailblaze Challenge is on June 5th through the 7th, which is really exciting. What we're hoping to do is grow our Trailblaze Challenge community, so hopefully we can get you guys on board. Um, what's really neat about this uh, challenge is uh, the support you receive. So you have amazing hike leaders, like David um, Wynn, who's part of this call, um, and then our community partners. We partner with REI, and we've got we have a great relationship with them. So um, you'll get to know a lot more about that. Um, we do help you with the fundraising. This is a fundraising um, challenge as well. So we will create a personal web page for you. It's very simple, easy to use. I can tell you personally, um, it is really simple. Um, we also have uh, participant tools that will help you. We have a Facebook group that um, is a private group where we give you suggestions and ideas and updates on um, hiking information. We also will, will have, from time to time, we'll have wish ambassadors, wish kids, or families might come and join us and tell you a little bit about our mission to really connect the mission with what we're doing. Uh, we also have volunteers and, and folks that will, um, partner, corporate partners that will help us along the way. So this is the fun slide. Um, this is your trail for uh, Trail Base Challenge. Miles, there it is, on the Pacific Crest Trail. So, the fun um, so I know, Again, I'm just going to remind one more time, if somebody, if somebody isn't muted, if you can just mute, we're getting a lot of um, um, feedback. feedback, that's the word. Thank you, David. Um, this is the question we get at most uh, of our info sessions is, what is the elevation? And oh my gosh, it's in the mountains, how can we do this? This is an elevation profile. It really gives you a good idea that there isn't a lot of gain. Um, it is very much doable. If you look at this slide, uh, it gives you um, an overview of the elevation profile. And we are more than happy to answer any questions regarding that. So now you get to meet your amazing Trailblaze team. Uh, you'll see on the left, that's Carolyn, who's here on the call with us. She works in the office and she is your event manager. She has a lot well, of great wait, experience. On the call. Okay, and then uh, on the right, you'll see David. David is full of energy, and and he he got to do this event last year, and he will he's got tremendous um, experience as well as motivation. He'll be there to help you get to um, every challenge and make sure you you meet, have everything you need. We also have our hike leads. So our hike leads are uh, folks that will be throughout the trail and at every training with us um, or every other training um, as much as possible, but we'll have many of our hike leads at most of the trainings. Um, you have Tyler, Michelle, Kara, Thomas, Natalie, Nicholas, Maria, and Jean. Uh, Rick, Haley, and Kevin. So several of these folks have that were part of our Trailblaze Challenge last um, last year. So um, they are very familiar with the challenge and, and they have great experience and a lot of them come from REI. So they've 
they're all avid hikers and are just so excited to meet you and get you out on the trail. One of the, the things that you'll receive is a training hike schedule. Um, this has just been released, which is very exciting. So once you sign up, you would receive your schedule. Uh, what the schedule includes is it will have all of your hikes during, uh, suggested hikes during the midweek um, time frame, and then our group hikes would be listed on the weekend date. Um, those group hikes would include, um, on the schedule will include the location as well as the distance. And you'll see there's um, a range usually. Um, so if some of the, if you decide that um, you need to do less miles, or if time doesn't permit, there, there will be options on that, or we'll, we'll give you more information on that. Also, we'll have any important dates uh, that are coming up, such as uh, rec recommitment date. That is the time um, when you decide if you are truly committed to um, moving forward with the Trailblaze Challenge. You have um, you, you feel comfortable with the fundraising and the training and you've decided this is 100% for me. Um, on the next slide here that we I'm have. I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead and jump in really quick. And I'm going to go ahead and mute all of the lines just because we're getting a lot of feedback. So if you have any questions, please just go ahead and type them into the chat box. Thank you, Shinja. All right. So on this um, slide, you'll see these are some of the great things that we'll be um, offering during the um, training season. One is cross training. Um, we will give you good suggestions on ideas of things you can do. The, uh, David and the Hikleys will suggest some good cross training or options for you. Um, we'll talk about reduced risk of injury. We want to make sure we keep you guys healthy and ready for the actual challenge. Um, the team will also, the leads and, and David will talk about increasing your mileage at a, at a good safe pace so you're injury free. We'll talk about pack weight. We'll have um, pop-up hikes so there may be some leads or even trailblazers that decide, oh, I want to do a hike on one of my midweeks. I'm going to this location so if anybody would like to join, then you can join in with that. Um, we also have great clinics on hike nutrition, hydration, proper footwear, backpack fitting, trekking poles, first aid and navigation. So we'll give you all the tools that you need to be successful in your, your challenge. So now you're probably like, oh my gosh, I need to sign up. This sounds so great. So the first step would be to say yes to the challenge. Um, we would, uh, from this call, uh, or from, we would be sending out a registration form to you. Um, I will today. Okay, Carolyn is uh, open to sending out the registration form to anyone that is attending today. Um, and then also there is a $100 registration fee, which goes automatic, goes directly into your fundraising so that you've already raised your first $100. You would be committing to raising $2,500 to help grant wishes in our community. And um, now I'm going to tell you a little bit. I know $2,500 sometimes overwhelms people, but now I'm going to tell you about some of um, the ideas about fundraising. So the great part about it is you'll have um, a team of folks here at the office and also your um, fellow Trailblaze Challenge hikers that will give you great ideas on fundraising. To start with, we give you a personalized fundraising website, uh, which makes it super easy and it's it just takes two seconds for people to donate to your page and you can track right on there and then you can make it um, update it with photos and 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 all the things that would inspire your friends to donate. Uh, we do give you a toolkit with lots of um, sam sample letters and also like suggestions and ideas for fundraising. Uh, again, you'll have you'll be part of the, the private um, Facebook group where you can share ideas what works and what what other people have suggested. Um, another way that really helps if it is if you know somebody that can do sponsorship or matching gifts. There are a lot of companies or corporations that do um, matching gifts or they might wanna sponsor somebody, um, especially with uh, it being for Make-A-Wish. So definitely talk to Carolyn um, and our team and we're more than happy to help you. There is a corporate sponsorship info piece in the fundraising toolkit um, that Carolyn sends out once hikers have been registered. One of the really great things about the Facebook group is 
we have last year's participants as well, and they have been really great about sharing their successes and opportunities in fundraising. All right, so what your fundraising will also, or what it includes is Hike Weekend. So it is a shared hotel accommodation, so you'll be sharing with one of your um, fellow hikers, or you have the option to buy out uh, half of your room uh, if you want to bring up a spouse or a friend or whoever. Uh, Friday night will be a pasta party, so that's a really fun night. So everybody goes up to the hotel on Friday night, and we do a big pasta dinner and get everybody really excited and ready uh, for the challenge. So we also supply transportation to and from the trail to the hotel and from the trail to the hotel after. So um, we will not pick you up at your house, so you definitely have to be at the hotel. And we want to make sure everybody's ready to go because we get an early start. We also supply trail support, uh, which includes sometimes entertainment from some of our volunteers, uh, along with snacks and drinks and um, support along the way. Uh, Saturday night, we offer a post-hike celebration, uh, so it's a uh, dinner and uh, just get together after to celebrate your accomplishment. But what's really fun is the victory breakfast on Sunday morning where everybody shares about what the experience was like and just um, all the fun they had along the way and, and what a great experience it was. These are two of our participants last year. The gal on the left actually is now a hike leader. And the gal on the right is uh, was an amazing supporter of ours last year. They're more than halfway through the trail, and they're still smiling. That's true. So I love this photo for many reasons. Last year was our first year doing Trailblaze, um, so I couldn't wait to have our own Trailblaze photo for this year. So these are our actual hikers right before they took off. Um, onto the trail on a Saturday morning. So it is just, it is more than just a trail. Uh, you get to know people so well and build friendships and you get to go through something really special. So next is once you've accepted the challenge, what's next? So we are getting close. Our, our kickoff group hike will be on February 8th. Um, recommitment, this is, uh, so you have from February 8th to April, uh, 24th to decide how's my fundraising going? How's my training going? Is this something I can accomplish? Um, do I need some more help or, or what, what do I need? Um, on April 24th is when you, you decide, yes, I'm going to continue on and I'm going to raise the funds and I'm going to be part of the um, Trailblaze Challenge. Um, so at that time you decide. So really you have from February 8th to the 24th to, to really make sure you're on track. Um, the hike weekend, you have to be available. There's no, you can't, we, we're not moving the date. So you have to be available June 5th through the 7th. Um, you have until June 26th to, to turn in your final funds uh, for your fundraising uh, deadline. So uh, you have a, a couple weeks after. So if somebody's saying, oh, I really want to make sure that they, they follow through and do their, um, their miles or really show up, they have, you can prove that you did it. So one thing I didn't say in this um, in this webinar, and I want to go back, I probably should have said it earlier, is uh, it is a 28-mile challenge, um, but it definitely is your own personal challenge, so you are able to do less than 28 miles. So if you decide, I love doing this, and I want to raise the funds, and I want to be part of this, and you know that at, at any given time you decide, oh, you know what, I really, 28 is too much for me, I'm going to do... 13. We well, are going to work with David and his hike leads to decide, okay, what is the mileage that works for you? So it is your own personal challenge. So you, you don't have to do all of 28 miles. Uh, we'll be there to support you if you decide to do all of 28. But if we work with you and you decide, okay, I'm going to need to be leapfrogged. I'm going to need, need to be picked up and moved uh, ahead to the next water station and maybe do less miles. That is completely okay. Again, this is your own personal uh, challenge. So we want to make sure that that's very clear and, and you understand that you don't have to do the whole distance. I'm going to go ahead and unmute everyone. So if you have any questions, we would love to hear from you at this time. Um, I have a question.